holy mountain Sinners ruined by the fall Hear up your and healing fountain Flows to you, to me, to all In a full perpetual tide Open when our Savior died Come in poverty and meanness Come defiled without within From infection and uncleanness From the leprosy of sin drinks shall live forever dance a soul renewing flood God is faithful God will never break his covenant of blood signed when our Redeemer died sealed Thank you for joining with us this week for our devotion. Have you ever had one of those days, one of those days that you just feel like singing? The sun is out, it's a beautiful morning day, and you can't wait to tackle the world. You feel on top of the mountain. You just want to sing. Well, it was a day like that when Jesus entered Jerusalem on that Palm Sunday. Just listen to what takes place in Matthew chapter 21. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethany on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, and with her called by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle, riding on a donkey, on a colt the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! Think about that. Those Hosannas the waving out the palm branches, 
It was a beautiful day. A day that it looked like it was victorious. Here comes their king. The streets of Jerusalem were filled for the Passover celebration. And here comes Jesus. Here comes Jesus riding on that donkey. The people are taking off their cloaks, laying them down on the road so the dust doesn't rise on their king. They're waving their palm branches and saying, Hosanna to the son of David. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day of praises to our Lord. And each day he was going to be going to the temple. Each day he was going to be reaching out to them one more time. Not to receive their praises. Not to receive their worship. But he was going to be going to the cross. He knew that their hosannas, their praises to the son of David, hosanna in the highest heaven, would be turned to Crucify him, crucify him. But what did Jesus do? He willingly went. Willingly went to that cross for us. Each day he would return to Jerusalem. He would face the religious leaders. They were trying to trick him, trying to arrest him. And on that Monday, Thursday, theirs would be fulfilled. Judas would betray Jesus. Jesus would go to the cross. But Jesus in his love was reaching out. He knew what he would suffer. He knew that, that he would die on the cross. But also, on that third day, he would rise from the dead. His grave would be empty. Give your Hosannas. Give your hosannas this coming week. Give those hosannas as we begin Holy Week. As we celebrate again that passion of our Lord that comes to a climax. That he willingly went to the cross for us. For Jesus still reaches out to us. Oh no, he's not riding on a donkey into our cities. But he's using each and every one of us to share that glorious news. He's telling us to go. And when we think of the victory that is ours, when we realize what Christ has given us, we have to sing our hosannas. We have to sing our praises. We have to sing Hosanna to the Son of David. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for coming into this world. Thank you for going the cross for me and conquering death and pain for my sins. Salvation is paid for. Paid in full. Think about that. Salvation is ours. Sins forgiven. When we think of that, we can't help but sing our sins. We want to wave our palm branches. We want to see our king turn to his word this coming week, turn to those closing chapters of the gospel and see his love, see his teaching as he reached out, reached out to those lost sinners, just as he is reaching out to us. Enjoy this week. For Monday, Thursday, we are reminded, reminded of the sacrament that he gave his disciples, given the church, the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. The very body and blood of our Lord that was given for us, for that forgiveness of sins. We see his betrayal. On Good Friday, we see that cross. We see a beaten body. A bloody body. We see a body that was dead. We see some of his fathers taking down that body and placing it in the grave. But on Easter morning, 
Easter morning, that grave was empty. Jesus has risen. That explanation point in sin's forgiven is ours, and our grave will be empty. Hosanna to the Son of David. Rejoice. It's each day is one of those days. Each day is one of those days that we can't help but sing and knowing that we can tackle the world. Because we are God's forgiven child through Christ. May you find that peace and live in that joy now and forever. Amen. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son into this world for us. Hosanna to the Son of David. May we give our praise to you. May we give our thanks to you each and every day for sins forgiven. And in this coming week, may we celebrate with our brothers and sisters of the faith as we think of that suffering, but also as we look at that empty grave on Easter morning and knowing that our grave will be empty too because of Christ. We ask this in his name. Amen. Please join us this coming week on Monday, Thursday, April 14th. Our services will be at 1036 at Living Water. Good Friday, our services are at 1 and 6. And then Easter morning, April 17th. Join us as we celebrate the victory of our Lord, that Son of David who came for us. Our celebration services are at 7.30, 9, and 10.30. Have a blessed week, this holy week, in our Lord and Savior. Music's